All right. Uh, yeah, let's go and give Poseidon to Gaia. I forgot to. Ah. Let's see here. Uh, I think this is part for 35. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, 35. There's a lot of stuff in here now. Well, they didn't have two left feet like I do. I could teach you. Don't tempt me. By the forge, find an inn and leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, you're back. No thanks. No I strike. Back to studying it in. Yeah, poor Aaron. Looks like you've been. I should head up. I'll go back. Okay. Yeah, you have nothing. Oh yeah, you have something to say. <coughs> you look like you've been busy. As do you. Oh yeah. Have you had a chance? Or they managed. I. I better head out. Uh. Yeah, over here. Oh yeah, we can give the drone. Hello. Welcome back, Aloy. I see you have recovered Poseidon. There. Let's see what we got. Um, yeah, good choice. It's my only choice. <laughs> Stairs. Beta has something you need to hear. Okay. I'll be right down. Aloy, I have managed to unlock additional rooms within the facility. Got it. Hey, Gaia. Me again. Welcome back, Aloy. Were you able to make use of Poseidon? Yes. Many rivers, streams, and lakes associated with the regional watershed have been detoxified. As a result, red algae growth levels have seen a marked decline. According to my data, however, it appears a localized occurrence of red algae continues to persist near the coast. Maybe I'll look into it when I can. What can you tell me about Demeter? Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. So once I bring it back, all the blight out there will start to get better. While permanent restoration requires the abilities of Hephaestus, I may be able to improve conditions in the region for a while. However, a word of warning. Like Aether and Poseidon, Demeter's response to my query was highly irregular. Alone and frightened, it may have taken measures to assure its security. Okay, I'll keep. I don't remember how uh, Demeter is at all. 
You mentioned that the superstorms have subsided. Is that ether at work? Yes. Thanks to Ether's capabilities, weather patterns in the local region should mostly stabilize for the time being. That'll be a relief for the Tanakh. One of their villages is still recovering after a mudslide caused the whole place to flood. I will continue to stabilize the atmosphere for as long as I can. So, Poseidon spent the last 20 years hiding out in Las Vegas. From the data I found, it seems the city had an advanced water reclamation system. Is that why Poseidon went there? Most likely. In an effort to protect itself, Poseidon sought out a safe harbor where it could access water supply functions. There, buried and encased in a protective dome, it could guard against any threats. Like three Osirum showmen? I suspect that was not the first time it felt the need to repel trespassers. So, once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass-produce machines at cauldrons around the world. Yes, and to program their behavioral routines, or even control them directly. So you could build an army of machines, attack the Zeniths and take them out. It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve human life above. So yes, once I could design, build, given the nature of the far zenith threat, I must admit... No yeah, she said that already. So, I guess Beta's here to stay. I gave her a focus. Told her to talk to you to see if she can help. She's... Not what I expected. What were you expecting? I don't know. Someone more helpful, I guess. And less pessimistic. It is true, she overestimated our progress. However, it is also worth noting that her confidence in your abilities emboldened her to escape the Zeniths. I guess so. Give her time. She may yet come around. How's Catalo doing? I have detected that the loss of his arm still deeply pains him. In an effort to remedy this, I have discussed a potential solution with him. I believe he will want to fill you in on the details. A solution? I'll check in with him when I can then. How are things around here? Zoe has been studying the morphology of her land gods in an effort to understand their sickness. Without the abilities of Hephaestus, I am unfortunately unable to correct their programming. However, Zoe and I are hopeful we will find an alternative way to heal them. Well, keep at it. I'm curious why you can't just override them, in a way. We destroy the corruption with that. We have healed the Cauldron, haven't we? Or, yeah, it feels like that would be possible. Varl and Zoe seem to like spending time together. Indeed. While studying old world data, Zoe discovered references to a dietary lifestyle known as yeah. vegetarianism. She appreciated the similarities with Utaru practices and encouraged Varl to try out this lifestyle. And how did that go? I believe they have agreed to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but I love that word. Agree to disagree. I don't know why, but I just like it. How's Erend handling things? He is becoming increasingly accustomed to use of the focus. After an initial incident. What did he do? He unfortunately crushed his first focus as he attempted to affix it to his temple. Amongst a number of Osiram curses, I believe he also blamed the focus for being dainty. He has given repeated assurances that it will not happen again. Well, good thing we have a lot of extras, I guess. So there's a few people here now, and they're learning. All about you, the ancient world. Almost like what was supposed to happen. 
before Apollo was purged. Yes. While the loss of the Apollo database was catastrophic, there is still much that can be gleaned from the data you have uncovered. For instance, Varl has been reviewing the last recorded entries from those who perished during the Pharaoh Plague. Hearing their hopes and fears made him quite somber. Anything I should be worried about? I do not believe so. I have elected not to intervene, to allow him to process this on his own terms. So the Hades Proving Lab, where I found the Gaia Colonel, it used to be a Pharaoh research facility? Yes. Prior to appropriation by Zero Dawn, the facility was used to engineer and test advanced computer viruses. It appears to have been one of many research initiatives by Pharaoh Automated Solutions. I guess it wasn't enough to build automated killing machines. He wanted viruses to infect them with too. I should be going. Goodbye, Abe. Or that was just a payoff safe also, who knows. Who knows? Now, where's uh, Beta? I don't think that door had power before, but looks like it's malfunctioning. Looks like some kind of maintenance space. This is going to hurt. Oh, my knees. It hurts just seeing that. That did it. Uh, Aloy? A bunch of lights just turned on up here? Was that you? Oh. Huh. Yeah, I guess it was. Okay. What lights? These lights. I have no clue what lights. I didn't pay attention. Uh, oh yeah, I want to go here. Where did Catalo go? Yeah, override. Override. Oh, oh wow, override on that thing as well. Nice! Okay, Plowhorn. Yeah! Right, I guess Kotalo has gone to Gaia, maybe? I want to talk to Beta. She found that recording from the data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. I think
think it helps calm her. You know, I used to watch this a lot, too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little bit. But there's something you need to tell me? While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. You saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then, one day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was the liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Oh, her! Maybe that's why she reached out to you? She's the one that wanted the Gaia program, I think. And then Sobek got mad as hell against her. I think that was her. What else can you tell us about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth... She was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never knew about it? To them, it looked like I was still in training, toiling away, alone. So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. 
It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Any information about them was redacted. So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't, okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. Acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that, then. They got suspicious of her, so she had to cut them off to protect her, I guess. Oh, wow! What's wrong? I'm trying, Laurel. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean, it wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the proving lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him, but he raised you trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do. But I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. Yeah. I would not be surprised, as I said, if they found out Tilda was doing something and... It's you. Yeah, she, to, to protect Beta and herself, she cut them off. Hey, I've been fine. And look, about earlier, forget it. Was there anything else? So have you been able to make use of your expertise? I guess so. Gaia transferred a lot of data on Hephaestus to study. And? Any insights? It looks like it's been modifying its code, increasing in size and complexity over the years. There's a lot to analyze still. Okay, well... Keep at it, I guess. So have you been upstairs at all? Not really. Varl sometimes comes down here to talk. He keeps asking if I'm okay. I thought he only wanted to know about my productivity, but it's almost like he actually wants to talk to me. Yeah, I think he does. Have you talked with anyone else in the base? I speak with Gaia. She asked me how I'm feeling and my opinion on various topics. I didn't expect that from an AI. That's all thanks to Elizabeth. She believed Gaia had to care, not just follow her programming orders. I know. Independent emotional processing enabled the previous version of Gaia to create you, after all. Yeah. I guess so. What else can you tell me about Tilda? She... Like to talk about her paintings. Wait. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? So it's just the same again. That's okay. So not good. Yeah, no, I just that.
Now, Kutalo, where are you then? Aloy, uh, it's everything all right? It, it seemed like you and Varl were down at that basement for a while. Yeah, everything's fine, I guess. Well, okay. Uh, what, what can I do for you? You still sifting through loads of data? Yeah, it's interesting. There's lots of words. I, I thought maybe I could try finding things with more you know, pictures in it. Not much luck there, but I... I did find out about these uh, holofilms, like images put together to tell a story. Uh, they were made to look like they were the real thing. You know, the Osaram like shows. I bet they pay a lot of shards for those hollows. It seems like you're getting a hang of this data thing. Yeah, it's been helpful. When I could make sense of anything. I did find the old ones enjoyed a good brew like the rest of us. Only they let machines serve the stuff in bars. They even let the damn things cut you off before you saw the underside of a table. <laughs> uh, that's half the fun. Now, you won't see me letting a robot serve me a pitcher anytime soon. <laughs> How are things going around here? Hey, you tell me. Varl's new girlfriend tried to kill me earlier. What did you do? I made one joke about how they, you know, Eat grass a lot. How does anyone fight with nothing but tree leaves in their stomach anyway? From the looks of it, the Utaru. Yeah, well, I wasn't expecting it to be that fast. Just try not to get hurt. I see someone's been playing strike. I'm just trying to get some practice in. Helps take my mind off things. You should try playing Katalo. It's a Tanakh game. Maybe you'll learn something. Uh, sure, Tanakh. Sure he won't try and kill me if I win? Pretty sure. Do I smell... ale? Yeah, I brought some over from Chain Scrape. Hey, with everything that's been going on, I thought we could all use a drink. Besides, there is nothing that brings people together like a good brew. And a good hangover. My sister always said, anyways. You're more than welcome to have some. Maybe another time. I should get going. Back to reading, I guess. You be careful out there. Right, before I speak to Varl, I want to find Kotalo. He might be... Oh! Now. Oh, right, he was here. He was not over there. <laughs> I forgot. Mind if we have a word? Of course not. Must be strange, seeing everything through a focus now. I can see machines like never before. Their strengths and weaknesses simply reveal themselves to me. To think that such a tiny object might be the most powerful weapon I've ever possessed. What do you think of this place? It must take some getting used to. It's an efficient center of operations, and an acceptable training facility. But we could use some more... color. Duly noted. Does it still hurt? It comes and goes. I try not to think about it, but its absence is always present for me. It's difficult to explain. I can't claim to understand. Only empathize. Then you have my thanks. Have you spoken with Erend at all? I've had little chance to. I did see him bring some ale from out east. That stuff's as bitter as self-brush. You get used to it, eventually. In fact, I wouldn't mind a drink myself. I'm sure Erend wouldn't mind sharing. I should get going. If I can help in I will. Wait, what about that? Didn't uh Gary say he had something. What is it? You said the bulwark was your home a long time ago. 
Yeah, I don't care about this. As I grew to cope, I found that it was up from the east. Them? Indeed. Then what? Uh, what the? What? The van for us ended it. Then the f. What did you spent? Well? Indeed. Why did you leave the Sky Clan to become a marshal? I was sent to the Cool Root by Takote. Back then, I would have obeyed his every order. I believed in him, like one would a father. I was too blind to see the fear in his eyes. Fear of a rising young warrior challenging his command of the clan. I returned a hero from the battle at Baron Light. But to him, I was only a threat. Never occurred to him that I had no interest in rising above my station. Why did Takote think you wouldn't be a threat to him if he sent you to the Cool Root? Takote knew that if I survived the Cool Root, I'd be forced to forsake the clan to serve the Tanakh as a whole. I'd never be allowed to challenge his command, even if I wanted to. After our victory at Baron Light, Takote spoke to our people, said it would be selfish to rob Hikaru and the marshals of a warrior like myself. Even though he knew perfectly well, I had no intention of ever leaving. It was exile. Guised as an honor. One he knew I couldn't refuse. So I became a marshal. And never looked back. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I am not. Though it pained me at the time, a marshal is what I was destined to be. Yeah. I really like then I'll resume I really like Otalo. I've said it so many times. I just can't yeah. Hey, got a sec? Of course. It's hard to believe we're dealing with the original Zenus. The same ones that left for Sirius a thousand years ago. To live on for so long. It doesn't seem natural. Because it's not. That weapon we found where Beta was hiding. Any chance we can use that against them? Silence made sure that wasn't an option. Why would he build something to hurt Farzenith, yet allow them to capture you? With Silence, there's always an angle. We just don't know what it is yet. My guess, they did not know about Be He did not know about Beta. Though he's an idiot for thinking that. Yeah. Silence is cool, but yeah, he's weird. What do you make of this Tilda the Beta was talking about? Well, the way she described it, I can't shake off the feeling that Tilda wanted something from Beta. Maybe because she's Elizabeth Sobek's clone? But whatever she wanted, I don't think she got it. If we knew what it was, maybe we could use it to our advantage somehow. Uh, I don't know. I don't think Tilda and Elizabeth were on the best of terms. Oh well. At least we can take some comfort in knowing the Zeniths don't trust each other. Maybe. You brought up Rost before. I do think about him. You know, he was all I had. And he brought me up the best he could. Not only that, when Hades discovered who I was and sent the Eclipse after me, he sacrificed himself so I could survive. But that seems like ages ago. So much has happened since. What I'm doing now... I don't think he could even begin to understand it. The Sacred Lands were all he really knew. So I can't let myself dwell on him. Not with everything I have to do. I understand. Sometimes, when I think about my sister... ...about what she would have become if she had survived the Proving... It hurts. And I just need to bury it for a while. But only for a while, Aloy. You can't ignore it forever. Memories always come back. The ones that matter, anyway. I know. But for now, the mission has to come first. Fair enough. I was training. Discovering something new about our past every day. When we first met, you asked me if I ever wondered what this world looked like when the old ones lived here. I thought it was strange at the time. 
But a lot has changed since I left the Embrace. Now I'm just trying to make sense of everything I thought I knew, and versus everything I know now. The change is hard, but it gets easier over time. You feeling okay? I was just thinking about Beta and all that time spent with the Zeniths. To think someone would make a person just to lock them in a room to use when needed, like some sort of tool. Elizabeth Sobek sacrificed herself for the world, and yet they have no trouble treating Beta like a slave. Another reason we have to stop them. I should get back out there. We'll be here if you need us. Aloy. Hey, how's everything going? I am well, but Varl told me Beta's having a hard time adjusting to life here with us. I wish there was something I could do to help. I'm not sure any of us can. A tree won't bear fruit in a day. We'll do our best to make her feel welcome. There is something I'd like to discuss. It's about the land gods. If you have time, that is. The Zenith did a number on Beta. But she seems to trust Varl. I still can't believe she told him the Zeniths are immortals. Old ones who cut themselves off from the cycle of life and decay. I've never heard of anything so selfish. To deny our dying bodies to the Earth. To doom the life that would bloom in their place. It's despicable. I agree on that. That, I agree on. Found anything else combing through that data? Varl and I have been looking into the animals of the old world. Apparently there used to be thousands more species roaming around than there are today. Can you imagine that? I'd give anything to see them. Even as holograms. Though I know that without Artemis or Apollo that may prove difficult. At least I can find comfort in knowing Gaia used many of them as inspiration for her machines. Her memory honors them. Yeah, a world without cats. That's a sad world indeed. I love cats. Oh my god. Yeah. What are you going to learn next? I'm not sure. I asked Gaia for suggestions and she brought up data you found on something called a... Museum? From what I gather... The Old Ones would store knowledge in them for all to see and learn from, like you've done here for us. Maybe one day more people will be able to use this place to learn the way we have. That sounds... crowded, but nice. Are you guys training with Erend as well? If you count trying to stick a spear in his gut as training, then yes. I've been told. Please tell me you weren't being serious, though. Of course not. Good. I was going for a couple of broken bones. He called the Utaru leaf grazers. Laughed at the idea of us simple farmers being formidable fighters. Before I knew it, he and I were battling it out in the common room. The man is slow, but he can throw a hammer around. Don't look so worried. We're evenly matched. For now. Next time he's going down like a load of boar dump. Just try not to kill each other. Injuring his pride should be good enough. I correct me if I'm wrong, but I have a feeling she would stand no chance against him with his physique. Honestly, I'm not the best when it comes to physique and biology, but I feel like she would stand no chance with a punch. She would need a good weapon to hurt him. <laughs> At least he seems to have armor on, so... Well, I don't know. Is there anything I can help with around here? Hmm? Oh, no. We're doing fine. Are you okay? You and Varl have been friends for a while. I'd like to think so. I was wondering... What do you know about his mother? Ooh. Oh. That bad, huh? <laughs> Why do you want to know? He's spoken of his sister, Vala, but I noticed he avoids talking about his mother. She's the war chief of the Nora. Best warrior the tribe's ever known. 
Tougher than a Thunderjaw, but she could be pretty harsh at times. I see. That must have been hard on him. Thank you for telling me. I feel silly not being able to ask Varl directly. I wouldn't worry about it. He's probably afraid Sona will scare you off someday. I'd like to see her try. You said you wanted to talk about the Land Gods? I think there's a way to heal them so that they'll once again provide plain song with grain. Gaia gave me a set of instructions. She called it a uh, reboot code. Ah. If we deliver it to the land gods, their derangement will end. Well, that's great. It may be. There are oh yeah. The path. Unless the code We found one of them senses, before. I remember. The land gods will reject it. Gaia showed me a way around this. We need components called control cores. From machines made by Hephaestus. Machines similar to the land gods. You mean Grimhorns? Like the one we fought in the repair bay? Yes. Gaia helped me locate two of them out west. So, kill the machines, get the control cores, then use them to adapt the reboot code into something the land gods will obey? If all goes well, but taking down two Grimhorns won't be easy. We'll do it together. Bless you, Aloy. I'll send you the location of the machines. I should get going. Good luck on your... Okay. Yeah, I, I'm sure we, found, we saw one of them before. Now, I'm going to speak to Gaia again. About Quotalo. Okay, oh, yeah, you, you can't slide up. I'm back, Gaia. Hello, Aloy. So I talked to Beta. Didn't learn much. It seems to me you did. From what she describes, the Zeniths controlled every aspect of her life, even as they shunned her. This Dilda was the first person she ever had contact with. An abrupt severance of such a relationship would be very emotionally damaging. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. See you later, Gaia. Until next time. Huh. So we're now not, uh, Kotalo doesn't get anything yet. Kind of surprised by that. Oh, sure. I remember a very specific thing that will happen, but if it's later, after the me the next one. It has been difficult to figure out. She's just so closed off. I get that the Zeniths were cruel to her. That the one called Tilda abandoned her, but I can't get her out of her shell. I don't know. Maybe nothing can. A good psychiatrist might. Oh, well. I know Varl meant well bringing up Rost. I just... I guess it's hard to talk about. With everything going on, it feels easier to set those memories aside. At least for now. Looks like Gaia was able to unlock that door. What? Wait. There's a lot of equipment in here. Gaia? What was all this for? This room was designed for management of the facility's vast seed banks. From here, control center operatives would have monitored new crop rotations into the automated farmlands. Now known as Plainsong. I see. Huh. I've been tackling the design of the Ag Lab. Place is gonna have a lot of seed stock to work with. My favorite? Sample 626. Calotropis gigantea. The crown flower. We used to have one in our backyard. Butterflies always fluttering around. Every morning. August would run out there to check under the leaves. See if any caterpillars turned into chrysalises. Now, I'd like to imagine that the future will be filled with them. I 
activist console. There are still thousands of plant samples stored deep below the facility. I could ask Gaia about them the next time I talk to her. Ah, this data looks fun. Yeah, but not now. Uh... Uh, let's see it. Need to know, second verse. This is where Zoe said we'd find the grim horns she needs parts from to heal plain songs. Oh, we're here. I should let her know I'm here. Oh. Oh, it's uh This image is of the old world. Looks like a plane and some kind of metal structure. The grim horns that Zoe wanted to harvest should be somewhere nearby. I should let her know I'm around. A plane. Ow. Oh, duck! Fishy! Fishy! Come here, fishy! No. Fishy! Salmon! Tasty! Taken over looking at field. Maybe I could try to light it up somewhere in the nearby house. Is it that thing? A sun wing here, I think. Yeah, now I'm just messing around. Wait, how is it? Yeah, I, I get the javu feelings right now. That did it. Yeah, it feels like we've done this before, haven't we? Weird. I guess a couple of de deja vu right now. I think this is where Zoe said we'd find the Grimhorns we need parts from. Hey Zoe, I'm near the Grimhorn site. Can you join me? I'll be there soon. Oh, okay, we had to interact. <laughs> okay. We can do this together. The Grimhorns we're looking for should be just to the north. Let's go get those control cores. Yeah, we're in for a fight, I think. Thank you again for helping me. If this works, if we can heal the land gods, it will end a generation of suffering for my people. How do you think Thane and the Chorus will take it? They seem to think the tribe's extinction is inevitable. 
I've had my disagreements with them, but I'd like to see they'll be happy to be wrong on this. There. The Grimhorns. And they're not alone. We'll just have to be smart about this. I'll follow your lead. must be spitting out hunter killers too. Apex! Well, that's not good. Wait, can I? Oh, I want to get, take over that one. I've never taken over that. Oh, this will be fun. Please tell me. I'm going to get it. No! Oh! Yeah, come in, come in, come in. Come on, come on. No! Oh my god. I can't take over that as well. Yes. I just want to take over one of you. Yeah, nine minutes. We have nine minutes on us. Damn! Look away, bastard! No! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! No! Oh my lord! I'm so disappointed right now. Just because of that. Oh, I don't have an ammo. Oh! -ho! Ow! Bastard. <laughs> Hot. For a few minutes, or less than a minute. Seems you have God. business elsewhere. I'll go back to base. Call me when you want to resume. God damn it! Traps. I think this used to be a Tanakh hunting route. Okay. Maybe we can use them to our advantage. impressed at how you can master machines. You hit the weak spot. And I was pissed. Yeah. No, get away from here. Oh, oh yeah, I'm black. This is my best idea. Wow, that's powerful. For the power horns. That was fun. Felt like completely useless to take over them though. Go, go. 
Oh my god. Okay, that's creepy. That's creepy as hell. Why do you go up there when I'm not even looking at it? I'm stuck! Oh, I can do that now, already. Well, I'm not the one who shot killed though, so that's good. Yes. It looks so naked without them. Ow! What the hell happened? I'm stuck! I hate that. And... Oh crap! Still more. Okay, it's weak to that. Ow. Where the hell are you, Soul? Where the hell are you? You're so annoying. You're not even helping me. You want... Damn it. It feels like you're so... Oh, what? Oh my god! That's cool. Eh. Yeah, this might be at part two. <laughs> I still have one more to go. Oh yeah! God, that hurt. Yeah, so you feel like more like a hassle than help. We can take this one. That oh! Fun. Yeah! That was the last machine. Wait! Let's press on. Wait, what? Are you serious? What about that? But there are more. My lucky day. Wait, what the hell? Oh yeah. Wait, what? Uh. Yeah, I killed the machines for. Okay, yeah, uh, I'll cut here. Give me a minute, take care, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye now. And prepare for part two.